Hello everyone. In my last video, we have seen how to calculate integral using ECLAB software. In this video, we will see how we can find the same integral using Origin software. Because I thought that everyone do not have access to the ECLAB software, so let's make video on how to calculate integral using Origin. Let's see how we can calculate integral using Origin software. In first step, you have to convert this cyclic whole time metric curve into current versus time curve. You can click on the representation and click on current versus time curve. And to save this data, click on the just to save this data, right click and copy data. You can paste this data into Excel sheet and copy this data and paste it in origin. Select the X and Y axis and plot the line graph. Once you get this line graph, now let's calculate integral. To calculate integral, click on the gadgets and hit integrate button. This is the X scale range. Do not worry about this, just click on the OK button. Later we can adjust this scale. So click on OK. And in this way we can find out area under the curve during both oxidation process and reduction process. And you can calculate the total area as well. But in my case, I'm calculating area under the curve during the reduction process. So this is your area under the curve calculated using origin software and how much it is minus 0 0.43821. Now let's compare this integral with ECLAB software. This is current versus time curve and let's calculate integral. To calculate integral using ECLAB software, click on Analysis, Math and Integral button. Now you can select the area below the baseline 0, we call it during the reduction process and hit the calculate button. You can adjust these points. We have to adjust this point so that we can accurately calculate the integral. And now we can see the integral calculated using ECLAB software is minus 0 0.438199 milliampere per second. Origin software is quite similar, minus 0 0.43821. Divide this area by the scan rate and you will get charge service capacity. If you have any question, please do not hesitate to comment on this video and I will be more happy to answer your question. Until then, see you in the next video.